The only man convicted over the murder of sex worker Mallory Manning has been released from prison after a significant legal ruling that could see his charge drop. Ma Watahi Fawcett, a former Monroe mob prospect, was found guilty of being a party to her murder in 2014, and sentenced to at least 20 years in jail. His conviction was quashed by the Court of Appeal in 2017. Its reasons were suppressed. A retrial was set down for February next year but Fawcett's lawyers are understood to have challenged some important evidence the Crown wanted to use. The result of that challenge is suppressed but it led to Fawcett's release on bail on September 28th. He is required to appear in court on October 26th. It's understood the Crown will seek the court's leave to drop the murder charge against Fawcett on that date. Suppression orders will also be reconsidered. Fawcett is the only person convicted in relation to the murder so far. Police have reactivated the case in recent weeks with public appeals for information in print and on television. Police said they could not comment on why Fawcett had been released. The case never closes and until that's resolved, until we find out who that person is, it remains open. So um, we obviously want to come to the public and find out, uh, well someone knows who that male B is and uh, we want that person to come forward, or those persons to come forward, um, who may know that person and uh, tell us who they are. Manning was stabbed, strangled, sexually violated and bashed with weapons after she was picked up from her street corner in Christchurch on December 18, 2008. Her half-naked body was dumped in the Avon River in Dallington. Several people are thought to have been involved in her death and police are keen to identify a man dubbed Pmailby, whose semen was located in the postmortem. Manning went to work on the evening of December 18, 2008, and stood on the corner of Manchester and Peterborough streets about 9.30 p.m. She had not worked for some time but wanted to earn money to buy Christmas presents for her family. The public reported many sightings of her standing on her corner, wearing a distinctive pink skirt and a blue and white polka dot bikini top. She had two clients between 9.30 p.m. and 10.35 p.m. Both were cleared as suspects. One of the clients dropped her back to her corner. Her body was found floating in the Avon River near Dallington Terrace about 6.40 a.m. the next day, sparking the police investigation codenamed Operation Dallington. At Fawcett's trial in 2014, he conducted his own defense. His former lawyer, Barrister Craig Ruin, was appointed as amicus curiae, counsel to assist the court. Fawcett, then 26, told the jury he made a false confession to police because he was coached, or he was high on methamphetamine. Because his story did not add up, police kept re-interviewing him to get more glue to make it stick. I've talked about how I took part in hurting Miss Manning. Well I've lied to the police. I was never at the gang pad. I didn't take part in this. It's just all a made up theory. Fawcett said he had nothing to gain from protecting the mongrel mob. I'm wanted by the mongrel mob. I will never protect Mailby. Melby is the person whose DNA profile was obtained from a semen sample found during a post-mortem examination of her body. The Crown said Manning's murder was a planned hit organized by senior mongrel mob members, either because she owed the gang a drug debt or did not pay tax to the mob when she worked on the street. Detectives have launched a fresh appeal for information from the public in relation to this murder. And as of now, the only man convicted, Ma, Watahi Fawcett also known as Muck Dog has been released from prison, reasons of release being, suppressed.